Good morning everybody, my name is Marisol, welcome back to my channel. We are here at Green Swamp Wilderness and we're about to do one night backpacking trip. Starting at Rocky Ridge Road and then doing the Green Swamp East Track. We will use the Florida Trail and White Blaze to do this loop. It's going to be a total of 60 miles or so. I'm um, bringing 3 liters of water because I don't think it's going to be enough water sources around. So my backpack is a little bit heavier, heavier than I wanted to. Uh, but this may be the last time that I actually get to backpack in Florida until the end of the year, of course. Because uh, temperatures are going to be in the 90s like next weekend. So. so I'm taking advantage of that, but not to worry, I'll still be hiking. Uh, I just have to go uh, north to do that. Uh, so anyways, let's get going. It's so early. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe that way. If I go, I was afraid of that because it rained, but I was hoping it didn't. Oh, yeah. oh no! <laughs> you made it. Yep. I'm okay. Okay, so. I came like around this, this way? tree. Yeah, just stick to the edge, and then. But you have the trekking poles. I wanna like. I think last time I tried to do, I just fell. Oh my! God. <laughs> Into the water? Yeah. Oh my god! Here. <laughs> See you're good. Woo -hoo. Still dry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. First water. <laughs> Good job! Another one. Okay. <laughs> Don't get to the side. Oh. You did it, right? Huh? You did it, no problem? Yeah. Okay, we have reached the Tillman campsite. 4.3 miles from the parking lot, if anybody wants to know or cares. Uh, tables, fire bed. Uh, I don't know, it's pretty big. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Going along the edge here, trying not to get wet. So early on our journey. Oh. Ah! <laughs> I don't think we're gonna make it on this one. I may change to my um, uh, water shoes, I mean to my sandals. Sand us long. Okay, let's go. All right, I'll see you across. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Dumb fall. Oh my god. Yeah, don't try to go right in the middle. <laughs> Is it uneven? Yeah, the, it's probably been soaking for quite a while. So oh. You'll definitely see. Okay, that is really deep. Yeah. This is so fun. Right? This is like the best part. <laughs> Honestly. It feels so oh. good. Oh, this is nice. Mile check 
uh, we had to change into our sandals because there was no way our feet were gonna stay dry. Uh, there's water here everywhere. Um, there was a torrential storm on Thursday and currently Saturday, so maybe that's why. Um, it is pretty deep in some sections of it. Uh, so I'm very happy that I actually brought my sandals because uh, I don't want to have a uh, wet feet. I'm actually enjoying this crossing. It's kind of fun. I never done it before. As long as there are no snakes or gators, I'm okay with that. Still have my sandals on. Been doing uh, water crossings for a while now and it's really wet out here and it's just uh, making it more fun actually a little bit more difficult because it's a little bit it's just a little bit harder to hike with the sandals on but it's adding to the fun part of this hike the trail here is kind of narrow it just looks a little bit overgrown in some sections um, and we got lost a couple times because the white blaze is a little hard to see so pay attention to that What is Ashley going to do next? <laughs> oh god, my turn. So that's not the river, you guys. That is no. actually just water. <laughs> oh gosh. Decided to change into, the, into our shoes and they're now soaking wet. Oh. We're not lacking water sources today. <laughs> not at all. Alright, no choice. So with my tissues here about to get soaking wet there's no other way uh kinda, i was kind of dreading this but there's no other way out so let's just get it over with oh yeah i'm doing it too seven miles here our feet are pretty much soaking there wasn't any point or hopping around anymore we just go right through it we just don't really care anymore there's so much water retention here from i guess from the rain we're just probably knee deep sometimes uh so we just go right through it and we only got like about three to four miles to go to our campsite and the weather's been wonderful it's almost no clouds here but it's not hot like it usually is so really grateful for that very nice wind out in the open can't complain having a wonderful time our campsite in a little bit I just learned it's gonna be about 48 tonight and I only pretty much brought what I'm wearing right now so it's gonna be interesting I'm probably just gonna spend the whole night on my sleeping bag because I didn't prepare well again um, can't seem to get the temperature straight for some reason but anyways we're very close to camp can't wait to set it up I'm probably gonna uh, set it up real good because it's a lot of wind right now and I don't want my tent to blow away. This is bad. Oh, oh my God. That was tough mile check 11 here i'm really tired my body is aching right now but we're minutes away from camp or we're going to be camping at mott hammock 
campsite, you have to make reservations, free reservations to stay there. Um, luckily, it was pretty available. Yeah, a few minutes away, and I can put my pack down and uh, eat something. I can almost see it. Mile mark 11.13. Yay! Woo! 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 Oh my god. Oh, yes, yes. doesn't want to go anymore. Oh, <laughs> uh, look at the seeds. Huh? I know. Oh, I can't. This is gorgeous. Oh, yeah, no? 45 as a low. Oh my god. Yeah, at like 6. Yeah, I have to get ready before because I'm not going to be able to <laughs> handle it. So I'm going to be. So we're going to be. All right, it's currently five o'clock. We finish up setting up camp. This is my deluxe suite right here. So pretty, and Ashley is gonna be right over there. And we are gonna be uh, eating soon. Um, pretty much starving and uh, cold already. So we'll see what happens. Hey guys, it's 7 o'clock here. We made a fire, but not only to keep us warm, but to dry our shoes. It kind of looks a little funny, but our shoes are soaking, so hopefully this will help us out uh, for tomorrow morning. Good morning, day two here. I learned a very hard lesson yesterday. Um, we were trying to draw our shoes and accidentally cut in too deep into my plastic. So now I have to probably get new ones. So hard lesson to learn. But anyways, I'm just gonna head out, get some breakfast and gonna be in the road. All right, we are already out in the bow. We have not been so lucky because we're already crossing uh, some water and Ashley actually fell. Um, and we're trying to avoid it because it's really cold and we don't want to have wet feet, but yeah, my feet are pretty much swimming right now. I just hope I don't get uh, knee deep and that's all I'm asking for. Survived that one. We are making our way to the end of our journey here and I had a wonderful time, lots of first times uh, such as water crossing. That was fun in a way. It was just harder than I thought and your feet are always soaking and I didn't want it to be wet because of the temperature but as you walk you warm up so it's all good. And I also managed to burn my shoe uh, so that's an expensive mistake that I gotta fix now when I get back home. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that again. Lesson learned the hard way. So I brought two liters for this trip and I think that was plenty because we had the Wislakusha River and also there was a lot of water around us because it was very swampy. I always do a little gator at the entrance. But that's pretty much it. It was wonderful to spend the last week of this nice weather here in Florida. It was low 48s and high 70s. So you don't get that very often, not in April. So I'm lucky I got this weekend with Ashley, um, but there will be more backpacking adventures or hiking. So don't worry about that. I just have to fly to get there. 
Oh, and it took us about 11 miles to get to Mud Hammock and five miles from Mud Hammock to the parking area. Overall trip of 16 miles. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future hiking adventures. See ya. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for future adventures. See ya.